Yeah, there's a ton of different types. So like when someone says, hey, I've got alopecia, the next question is, well, well, what kind? What kind of alopecia do you have? You know, and that's an important question to ask because hair loss or alopecia, the word for hair loss is just a symptom. It doesn't really give you the diagnosis. There's alopecias that are androgenetic. That's male and female pattern hair loss. And that's the most common type of hair loss that we see in the practice. But there's other types of hair loss too. There's autoimmune hair loss, like alopecia areata which uh, results in a different pattern, right? So if you have male or female pattern hair loss, you kind of know what that looks like. You can see a receding hairline in men, you lose density and coverage up top, sometimes a bald spot in the crown. For women, it can look a little bit differently. The hairline usually stays about the same for uh, at least the first decade or so before it starts to recede a little bit and lose density up in the top. But alopecia areata, for example, autoimmune hair loss can happen in a little spot or a patch. And so that happens a lot more suddenly, like, oh my God, you wake up and there's like a tuft of hair that fell out. It's a little patch. Want to restore your active lifestyle? Go to youngforlife.org.